Hopefully I am in shock. Hello. It is finals week and I am recording one of the only videos I decided to make in my freshman year of college. We love decisions. I knew I wanted to make a dorm tour, dorm video at some point um, while I was here. It just, I didn't get around to it and now I have to move out and I was like, well frick, I want to record before, you know, I take everything out of my shelves and everything. So here we are. <laughs> this is spontaneous. I haven't told my roommate about this. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I tank top poly slow. I live in a north I live in North Mountain or better known as Red Bricks, specifically Trinity Hall. I live in a third floor. I really need to plan out my videos better. Okay, let's just let's just get into it. So the bed that you guys just saw me sitting on, it is a I forgot what they're called, but it's like when it's a twin, but a little bit bigger than a twin. I will put it on the screen. But um, I would say the size is fine. I haven't really heard anyone complain about the size. I have bed sheets. Um, there's like a little weird, like big space there, which is why I have a sleeping bag and a pillow to cover that up. Otherwise, your pillow just kind of like sinks in there and it's not very convenient. There is an outlet by the side of your bed. I have a lot of friends who also use extension cables to charge their phones and such. These are my wall decorations. I have some vintage like postcards and posters. Um, I have a Queen's Gambit poster that I bought from downtown here and some other like traveling postcards and then a tote bag that I decorated. As you can see, um, the Red Bricks dorms have like this bulletin board. I've seen people cover it up with paper if that's what you like, then you can do that. I personally liked the bulletin board feel. As you can see, I have like pictures there. Um, I have posters and various drawings that I've done, other postcards, things I've received from people. Okay, so I'll show you guys what's under the bed because there's a lot of storage here that y'all will want to utilize. So all of the beds will come with this set of um, drawers. I tend to put food at the top. I have like containers, I have a bunch of like snacks, honey, tea, chia seeds, etc, etc. In this jar, I have like towels, extra bed sheets, um, hair dryers, various things. And this one is more food. Um, first quarter when I came in was like a lot of ramen and other like actual food, like meal stuff. I'll put it here. Now it's just like other snacks that um, I didn't have space for at first. Now it's just kind of a little bit barren. <laughs> this is all now free territory. So this shows a better angle of like what it's actually like inside. I have all of my shoes here. I have them on like a rack that I bought from Target. I would say one thing to note is try not to bring too much extra furniture. I've found that a lot of the storage they provide is enough and you don't really need extra. I bought this from Ikea and honestly, this is why I'm dreading packing the most. It's heavy. Um, there's not like a lot of stuff it'll fit. It's going to take up a lot of capacity in my car, which is not good. <laughs> so the window is probably my favorite part of the room or one of because we have so much lighting around it and it's so atmospheric and cute especially fall quarter when like that golden hour come in magnificent i freaking loved it okay so let me show you guys the lights so what you're seeing is actually an accumulation of things um i first brought in these lights at the bottom because i felt like our room just felt kind of empty and a little sad so I got them from Target. This cloud light I got from my big, the same one that got me the plushie. And then the top ones, my roommate got, I believe last quarter. Um, one of our friends all got it. And then she was like, ooh, let me cop some too. And overall, I just really love the vibes. I also have this little thingy. It lights, it should light up. There's no battery though. So. Okay, never mind. I don't know where the remote is. But I will put in some clips from um, the past. Basically, I also have like a set of disco lights that will go all over the place um, in the ceiling in our room. And it would really, really create a great vibe in our room. I cannot recommend 
getting lighting enough, I feel like it just adds that extra spark you need in your room, especially if you want to have a lot of people over, if you're going to be doing um, group things as a college student in your dorm, have great lighting. It will make a difference. So along the fairy lights, we have my succulent. We have this <laughs> pair of Snoopy mugs. This is our fridge. On top, we have our dishes and such. I always just dry my dishes out on here. Okay, so this is like the desk area. This is the desk. Wow, I have my Mac here. It's relatively large. My roommate has a monitor on her desk. Um, so if you plan on bringing something big like that, there is space to have it and do work. This is a little drawer. I have seen people put it under their desk, put it um, under this area, or have it by their beds even. I've, I thought that was pretty cool because having it by your bed, you have like a bedside table and um, the space fits perfectly to have both, your room, both you and your roommates' drawers there and the fridge. So there's like this nice symmetry but it is up to you. I personally did like to have it by my desk. I have like a sort of vanity kind of thing. So it's pretty much like a condensed version of the drawer under the bed. I have all of my makeup in here, makeup, nails, perfume, etc., etc. This one is a bit thinner than the top one. Um, I have other miscellaneous things. It's chaotic. <laughs> The last drawer is the thickest, and this is where I keep my sketchbooks, papers, notebooks, um, previous essays, books, etc. Yeah. I have, again, a lot of stuff just all over the place. This is my chair. I don't like these chairs. Okay, I'll show you. When you lean back, it's supposed to go on like the ends, but instead you just have this moment of stillness and then you go like actually back. But it is terrifying because I'm not trying to go back, but it will make me go back. And I'm like, that was not the intention, sir. So this is like the general closet space slash area. Um, it's kind of hard to get it all in one go. So I have to do this little pan panorama thing. Okay, so if you open it up, it looks like this inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. Um, I would say there's a lot of closet space. I tend to have a lot of clothes and even I never really felt the need for like more space. Um, I would just advise if you do like a lot of clothes, have extra hangers, especially if you are planning on thrifting slash shopping, getting extra clothes, whatever, because um, that's something I noticed with both me and my roommate, we ran out of hangers at some point or another. So this is something that's also really helpful for saving closet space. It's these, like, I don't know what to call them. Um, I will find the link on Amazon and put it down below. But basically you can put all these hangers in one row instead of having them all next to each other. And that saves a lot of space. It can be a little bit inconvenient to get clothes off of them, but I would say it's pretty worth it. Same here with my skirts. I just have four of them and another four just all together. I bought these two hooks from Daiso. They're really helpful for um, having all of my bags on it, as you can see. On the outside of my closet, I have a command hook for my towel, and I have extra command hooks on the side for my loofah and my duster. And then I also have this extra hook from Daiso. What I really like about it is you can use multiple, like areas of it i have my belt and hats on its tail i also have another bag and a belt hanging from this this is also helpful you can put it over the closet like this i know there are other um sorts of hooks and things like that that you can use for that i've also seen some people put hooks on the inside some people have lights on the inside so that it illuminates this area especially in the morning when your roommate's like sleeping but you need that light i also put some like extra things at the top of my closet i have a picnic blanket umbrella some extra bags and stuff and then that is even more extra storage space so to end off the video this is the door um, the trash here and we put like various amazon boxes and whatever on the sides because we don't really want to deal with it i have my recycling bin here i think 
have what is possibly one of my most prized possessions, my vacuum. So these are the Trinity Hall bathrooms. As you can see, they are just normal bathrooms, public restrooms, not that nice. They give us uh, lockers that you can use. These are the showers, not that great. <laughs> I personally put all my stuff in there. Um, these are all of the Nomo buildings together. Uh, there's six of them in total. It's like around the center of campus, which is really nice. Hi, so I didn't record an outro at school, so here I am. Back at home. I've been done with freshman year for about three weeks now, which is kind of wild to me. That's a long time. <laughs> it's weird to think about. But anyways, I loved my time at Trinity. I know this video wasn't that great quality wise, but I thought it was better to have a mid video, at least showing what my room was like and um, just being able to show the new incoming freshmen what the dorm is like than no video at all. I met so many great friends there. I loved a lot of people on that floor and I have a lot of good memories there. So to the next residents of 309, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as me, my roommate, and all my friends did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!